Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Um, I have a question. I'm Pat, a registered nurse, a clinical nurse liaison. So some of the things I run up against are, or that I see are that we are managing these patients um, in the community setting and putting in the services and all too often we feel like we're forced to give up caring for the patient because of reimbursement and payment and have to discharge them and then they come back through the system but I'm also seeing primary care physicians getting frustrated with the barrage of phone calls, paperwork, case conferencing and trying to come with a solution and for them, the solution might very well be, let's put them in long-term care, because then I don't have to care for them anymore. And the papers end and the phone calls end. So I'm kind of torn with, um, you know, how do you, uh, how do you combat that? I would, I, you know, one of the things that we started doing as I was leaving home care, well, what I, how I would combat that for you, if the resources were there, is get yourself a GCM in on those cases. You know, get a geriatric care manager because they're gonna they're gonna be the liaison um, for all of the different services at home and filter some of the questions to the physicians in a more clustered fashion so that they're not happening um, with a million different phone calls. But the other thing that I would look at that we were looking at in home care as I was leaving home care and going into this work was standing orders for physicians for different diagnoses. They would give you some parameters so that you weren't calling the physician every every time you had to ask for you know a two by two instead of a four by four. I mean, I think that that's something that I think that we're going to have to be looking at um, in home care is to get those standing orders with parameters. If the INR comes back between two and two point six, continue the same dose of Coumadin and recheck in two weeks or whatever whatever it was. I think that that's where we're going to have to go with a lot of these things because, and then again, remember, this is a new day in reimbursement. One of the things that you said was a lot of times you, um, people were discharged because they were concerned about the reimbursement or something like that. I think that, um, remember, this is a new day in reimbursement and your computer systems, your software systems and whatnot are probably all setting you up for goals of improvement. Mm -hmm. You've got to look at those now because they have to now, you now have to have goals to sustain or maintain the current current strength or slow the decline or maintain um, the patient at home in a safe environment. Those weren't part of your software system goals probably before. Yeah, we've been talking about actually outreaching to the software companies to try to deal with this now. I would assume that there were packages coming, but we haven't seen anything yet. I'm sorry, you had a question? So, you know, one of the issues that we've kind of talked about, although, although we're not sure how to pursue it, is, is actually talking to the MACs about this, because right, so again, they're the ones who are actually writing the checks. Uh, if you have a, do you have one person that you're always dealing with um, um, at Medicare when you're doing submissions? Yeah. No? Because one possibility is to do that. Uh, uh, you know, taking the leap is really just trying, is, is, I know that from your perspective, you've got to be figuring you're going to be questioning whether walking in these things are going to work for you, right? And I don't have the answer as to whether they're going to work for you. I guess I'm suggesting I'd be interested in, we'd be interested in working with you to see if, the, to try to figure that out. But one of the things that was raised here today is should, the, should there be conversations now be, um, between you folks and the doctors that are practicing in this area? Um, maybe something that's even sponsored by Marlboro Hospital because so many of the players are, are, going, are you know, coming through Marlboro Hospital on the way here, mm -hmm. um, so that we can have a conversation about what the appropriate orders are that you're going to need when you're doing your OASIS, right, that, that are going to justify care in, in these kinds of cases, right? Because once again, it is a, it's a, new, it is a new world, right? And, but, but everyone is trying to figure out how to deal with it. And the doctors, 
I mean, they know less about it than you do, mm -hmm. right? Because they're not, this isn't where they get paid, right? So they are not it, it, nearly as interested in Jimmo, right, yeah. as all of you folks are. So to be trying to figure that out, once again, we'd be glad to try to work with you to figure it out. Um, I'm not going to talk about appeal because we were talking about that, except that we do need to figure out, and the question is from your perspective, whether you almost want to be helping folks that you see understand the appeal process because you're not going to be doing the appeals, right? The, the, the appropriate people, to, right? e either you're saying you're going to deliver the services or not, right? And you're doing that after um, um, uh, Medicare has said, yes, that's the correct package, right? And then Medicare is either later on, is either going to be paying you and everything's fine, or later on they're going to be coming back and looking at some of your cases and trying to grab some of the money back, right? So from your perspective, you, just, you want to make sure that your documentation is good enough to be able to support yourselves, and you need to feel confident enough about life after GEMO that you're taking the risk. Because once again, you're going to get paid, but then the question is, is Medicare going to try to claw it back? And then if Medicare puts you on an audit, the problem is that if you get audited and Medicare comes in, as you know, Medicare doesn't just talk about the cases that they were looking at. Medicare then looks at everything. They look at, they look at your HIP stuff. They look at everything, right? So if you, you, just, you want to make sure that you are, you are kind of braced for that in the event that, the, of course, you want to do that anyway, but specifically if you're being more aggressive regarding GMO. Um, finally, that's an ad. Um, a, a lot of us, a lot of the work that I do really is to deal with Alzheimer's in the short run. In the long run, it's really about dealing with this disease. And that's why Frank and Mary, my, my couple, uh, have a team walking in the Alzheimer's Association walk in September. If you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you join us. If you want to see this presentation or any of the stuff that we do, uh, it's going to be, it'll be uploaded, uploaded to um, Elder Law, Frank and Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions on any of this? No. Yes, ma'am.